What's up guys, this is Six Night Gaming coming back at you again with another video. Today I will be doing a setup video, but before I show you everything that I've got around me, I just want to explain why I haven't been making videos at all really. Um, for the last couple of months my computer hasn't been running as efficiently as it should have been, but it's only it's only been getting worse for the last couple of weeks, that's why I haven't been making videos, I've only been making like one a week. Uh, basically what's happening, what happened was the um, the hard drive actually started going faulty and I didn't know about this until I took my computer into the into a store a few days about la about five days ago or something like that I can't remember about five days ago and what happened was I asked them to check it up and but well, obviously before I took it there I reinstalled Windows to see if that would solve any problems and Windows 7 that is and when I tried reinstalling it the code I had wasn't working and I was like, oh for fuck's sake, no, do this now. So I went out and bought Windows 8.1 thinking, you know, it might it might be better than what everyone says it could be. And don't do it. It's the worst idea ever. Windows 8.1 is by far the worst iOS anyone could have ever. Ever. I do not recommend that iOS to anyone. If you want a good iOS, stick to Windows 7. It actually works. It, Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 is literally Vista 2.0. It's so bad, it nothing works properly. I mean, obviously that was if, if I if I didn't have um, any faulty hard drives or anything like that, um, it might have run faster. But when I installed it, it took 15 minutes to boot up, 15 minutes to load up the computer. That is really, really bad. You cannot sit there for 15 to 20 minutes waiting for your computer to boot up. It should never take that long. And um, it's just terrible, it shouldn't happen. So I took the Windows 8.1 back to the computer, this other computer store, which I they sell a bit of everything called PC World. And um, I got my money back, thank fuck for that. And I took my computer to a, a technician and I asked them to have a look over it and reinstall Windows 7 so there's even more fucking money loads of money spent so I had to pay 90 pounds for Windows 7 I know it's expensive but I'd rather have it done because I don't I don't know how to fix computer I don't know how to, like the ins and insides out of the computer I only know how like specifications if they're good or not and um, like graphics cards motherboards pardon me and all that stuff well I asked them to check it out and they found the faulty hard drive so they had to get rid of that. I Obviously I had a 2 terabyte hard drive then, I still do now, I had to buy a new one which was another fucking 80 quid so that was like a lot of money spent on hard drives and um, the operating system so yeah we got that out of the way. Um, the I didn't have my computer for two days so two days without a computer is pretty bad, it's really annoying. The laptop over there that I've got is terrible so I don't like using it and everyone else uses it instead so I miss my baby my my beastie computer so I was stuck playing Xbox One for a few days so uh, it wasn't too bad so I played NBA 2K15 um, managed to beat the NBA championships become a champion and just go from there so yeah I've uh, got my computer back and now I'm doing videos again because you know I can actually do stuff so yeah Right, cut into the the um, actual computer itself. Uh, well, setup. So basically, I'm running three um, BenQ monitors, 24-inch GL 2450s. Um, I they all stand. They don't stand independently. They stand. They actually all stand on one stand, which is an XFX triple monitor stand. You can pick one of those up for about. I think they've gone. I don't know how much they are now, but I paid 300. 300 pounds about 370 dollars for it it's a lot of money but it's worth getting if you like triple monitor stands uh this is my camera bracket which i use um uh, if i don't if which i use the camera i'm recording with now which at the moment i'm using a d5100 a nikon d5100 and on top of that the microphone is an is a rode shotgun microphone for these kind of cameras so very very good um i've got a webcam here which is a 1080p hd uh, I think it's a H, yeah, 10, 10, it's a HP 1080p um, camera. It's a pretty decent webcam, I'm not gonna lie. Um, to cut to the microphone, that's actually the key, the um, 
the key to all my videos. Let's get a good focus on it. Get the camera. Um, basically, this is a Rode Podcast uh, microphone. It's a very, very good microphone. I would recommend this to a lot of people. Uh, here you've got a special um, volume control and you can plug your headphones in to see how loud you are. Um, here is my um, photography light. Uh, it's freestanding light. It basically um, gives off a lot of light, a uh, white light. It's it's meant to cut down shadows and stuff, but um, it's got like a white sheen on the front because the light is very bright and, it, bright, and it's like a foil on the inside to, to make it brighter. So it's a 100 watt bulb. The bulbs are fucking huge. But obviously in my room you see a lot of foam. Uh, k on post, scroll poster. Lucky star scroll poster. Because you know, can't get enough of anime these days. That's the spare laptop. Um, I'm not mainly really uses it, but anyone that comes in can use it as well. Um, foam, more foam, lots of foam, lots of foam everywhere. The reason I have lots of foam, which I'll explain now, um, is the fact that the area I'm in um, is very quiet, and obviously people go bed early. So the it's not that it reduces sound. Acoustic foam does not reduce sound. It it's mainly there's a slip there and I've just noticed that that's gonna piss me off and I can't take them off now because it's all stuck by adhesive but um, the, the area I'm in is stuck by uh, it's stuck by it's it's really really quiet so I use the acoustic foam to cut down the echo and um, yeah just go from there so headset wise I use a Astro pair of Astros which is a 2014 edition Astro 2014 edition. I've got another spare Astros. Uh, I don't use them because the mix amp's a bit offish. Um, basically, if you keep it, if you keep the dial in the middle, it crackles, so you don't get the full volume. So it's a bit like all over the place. Underneath in my shelf, I have a Xbox One. For some reason, my camera is not doing what it should be. It's not focusing right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Right, I've got an Xbox One under there. Obviously, my pop filter's there. Some DVDs, whatever. Um, connect. Um, my guitar. Um, I have. I've. I recently started playing again. I've got. Obviously, this is an Epiphone Les Paul special. It's all. It's all official there. So you can pick one of these up. There's a guitar pack. Very nice guitar. Nice and heavy. And um, yeah. So basically, I'll be doing guitar covers soon. I'm just thinking what songs to play. Um, my, ch I, I have made a new channel which is Six Night Music. I'll leave a link in the description below. And yeah, we'll just go from, and I'll just make covers in the future. So yeah. Anyways, I come to the table again. Um, keyboard. I run a Raptor K, a uh, Corsair Raptor K30. It's a very nice keyboard. Before I was using a Black Widow Ultimate from Razer. But the problem is the mechanical keys are so loud the microphone picks it up and I hate background noise like that, it pisses me off. Um, the mouse is a Razer Ouroboros. Focus in a bit there. So yeah, Razer Ouroboros, a very nice mouse, nice and it's a, it's a nice like big mouse, so it's very good. Um, we'll cut to the computer in a minute, but the casing itself is a uh, it's a Cooler Master HAF. It's very nice, very nice um um, uh, case. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take my computer out because it's very, very heavy and it's a pain in the ass to put back. But inside, I run a gigabyte, um, a gigabyte motherboard, which is a uh, X79 series. It's the X79 up, uh, up four. Sorry. Uh, the processor is a. Um, the processor itself is an i an Intel i7. There we go. An Intel i7 3930K. Um, it's a 12. It's a six core with a 12, 12 core thread. Obviously, this the extra six cores are are only are on part, so you can't. Then they're, they're not on part, so you can't use them. They're just idling. They literally do nothing unless you want them open, which is which is technically you're overclocking the pro processor. So, um, yeah. I, I don't know if I've ever done it before, but I might try it because it, it it does increase um, performance, so it's really useful to use all 12 cores. But um, yeah, it's a very good processor. It's very expensive. Um, inside, I run two uh, graphics card-wise. I run two GTX 670 SLI 4 gig versions, 
because four gig, obviously the four gig ones are better and I used to run the three monitors at once on a lot of games so yeah so I, I do that I run those so they're really good um, obviously at the front of the computer itself it, that should be a 250 mil fan on top of the computer which you cannot see um, it, there um, it's about 350 mil fan it's very big it's a very 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 big fan so yeah it keeps all the airflow in and the the fan at the back obviously pushes it all out so it's all good so yeah anyways oh um if you want to know what i use for photoshop i use the wacom tablet it's a bit dusty i haven't used it for a while um the wacom tablet it's a very nice tablet you use uh, and it's my skyrim wallet there it is so obviously when you do videos uh photoshop work i would recommend getting one of these they're not very cheap but like, seriously they're probably it's probably a lot it's a lot easier to use than using a mouse i'll probably do a tutorial on that soon on what um like how to use it and stuff it's very very nice to use so yeah um anyways that's about it for my start video and all my explanations so i should be on my way to making more videos soon so um yeah so if you want to keep an eye out for more videos don't forget to subscribe please like this video uh, i want to try and push like I don't know, maybe 20 likes would be nice, just to start off, because I'm not really popular anyway. Um, but, oh, 20 likes would do, 20 likes on the video, if, if not more, that'd be great. Um, please uh, don't forget to share this video. Um, if you like my other content, don't forget to check them out. I do a lot of gaming videos, I do some card game videos, which is Vice Schwartz. I was going to make a new channel about that, but I thought, no, I'll stick to the one channel for that. But if music-wise... If I'm going to do covers, I'll do, I'll, I'll have another channel for that. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, you glorious gamers, I shall see you later. Happy gaming.